Good morning, guys. So Eli's going for a photo shoot in the mountains and it's 5.30 a.m. And I'm gonna go tag along and I brought my crocheting stuff so hopefully we'll get some stuff done. So Eli and I are at a gas station and I got my Starbucks. Chai with soy is my favorite. And then he got some caramel crunch frappuccino and it's like 5.30 a.m. so it's kind of funny. We're all like loaded out in sugar, loaded up with sugar. And so we're gonna get gas really quick and then we both forgot our wallets so we gotta go back and get our wallets which is good because I wanna get a jacket anyway because it's gonna be really cold in the mountains. And then we're gonna head over to the mountain which is just one hour away, we're uh, 50 minutes. So. so that'll be fun. So I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. Is this the best trail? Oh, hell yeah. Where are we at? Mongolia. Which trailhead? <laughs> Uh, the west <laughs> look how beautiful it is outside so i brought my yarn with me i'm going to be using this yarn to make a hat because i have a scarf that's this color and i think it would be really nice matching the scarf and the hat together i've never needed a hat before so this is going to be my first experience i found a good video and the hat i really liked so i watched it one time i did skip a few times so hopefully i can figure this out this yarn is very fragile so i'm going to roll it into a ball before it becomes tangled because it's just so fragile like i hate working with this yarn but it's so beautiful so let's do that really quick and then we'll start knitting <laughs> So Eli is changing in the back for his photo shoot. Show us all your goods. Um, so we got the pants right here. <laughs> Let me see I'm how much kidding. they are. What brand is it? What brand are you modeling today? Uh, we, I think it's like Ultra. Does it not say on the pants? Uh, it says it on the shoes. Oh, okay. Nice. There goes Eli with all of his photographers. There's like five of them. Okay, so I rolled up the ball of yarn and I have my four millimeter circular needles. So now I'm gonna start watching the video that I'm gonna be using from this lovely lady. Um, so we're just gonna knit that beanie that she has on. Um, it says, easy knitted beanie, a quick free pattern tutorial. So I hope it is easy and I hope I can get everything. The nice thing about YouTube, you can always go back and forth and pause and you know, unwind to kind of really get the hang of what um, you're supposed to learn. So let's do that really quick. So I'm supposed to, chain 97 cast on and i'm at 76 and my yarn the long tail is already ending so i'll have to undo it really quick and leave a longer tail so let's do that really quick and my um my stitches are kind of tight so i need to kind of loosen up my tension i don't know how i'm gonna do that but i'll figure it out yay so i got my 97 chains and i just gotta untwist them make sure they're not twisted and i still have a long tail so now i overdid it which is fine i'd rather overdo it than you know not do it enough so now i'm just gonna untwist everything so now i'm just gonna keep following the video and then to join in the round take the first stitch now we're gonna join at the round. Yay, so we made through the first round. It looks so beautiful. Like, I really hope this works out. I'm a little scared. So here's our last pearl stitch. And then we're just gonna do this. All she does is just does, um, she just continue doing that all the way until she has like four and a half to five inches for the ribbing. And then she'll do a different stitch. So let's continue doing that. I'm gonna pass forward, put some lo-fi and just listen to podcasts. So let's keep going, guys. <laughs> hungry right now and the sun is finally out so this is how far we've gone it looks so freaking good guys ah. so uh now i have this burrito a bacon egg burrito that i'm gonna munch on and take a little break and then we'll continue knitting oh, so good While I'm knitting, I'm listening to this podcast, Unraveled. 
so this is the second season the first season is really good it's about the long beach uh long island beach long beach murders in new york and how 10 or 11 prostitutes were found on the long island beach and so who is the murderer and then the second season is about this guy who is an internet stalker so that's interesting and really creepy and so sad because he terrorized or harassed this woman for like 30 something years and like what do you do like do you call the cops and you're like hey like i'm being terrorized and stalked and like you know these emails are being sent to my boss what do you do with that kind of sketch so continue listening to that and continue knitting so let's do that real quick <laughs> after eli's photo shoot we went to a public market at edgewater and we got some ethiopian food that was really freaking good we got anjeta with misa and like a bunch of other traditional things and then later that day i just sat on my couch watched bob burger on hulu and continue knitting my hat which was a lot of fun Good morning guys, today is our day two of making the beanie or knitting the beanie I guess I should say and so here's how far we've gotten so far, not very far. Now we're just going to continue doing purl one, knit one all the way until we have our desired length and then we'll start decreasing. I am super excited, the colors look amazing, I think it looks really good the way they're changing and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done because it is very stretchy. It looks very small right now, but it's it's very stretchy and it should fit me pretty well. So let's continue working on that. I'm gonna listen to some podcasts and just kind of pass forward um, and speed up the process and then I'll meet you guys for an update. <music> A little quick update so i am about to start decreasing this is how far i've gotten it's about eight inches i believe on um the part and so what she actually did in the video she actually changed her pattern to a different stitch but what i did i continued purling purl and knitting every row instead of stopping because if you look at my other hats like this is my north face beanie and um uh, if you look at it, it's like the same pattern. So I was like, why don't I just keep it the same pattern? I don't want to change it up, even though hers looks really cool. So maybe next time I'll try it. So now we're going to watch the video and we're going to start decreasing to make the top of the hat. I am excited, but hope this turns out good. I guess you guys would know because the thumbnail would include the picture of how it turned out, but I'm a little nervous. So let's keep watching the video on YouTube and figure out how to do it but first let me go get my stitch markers because we need a lot of stitch markers from here i place my stitch markers so that i don't know where my stitch markers are so i'm using these like little hair ties that i uh quick update i'm a little bit nervous because so i'm using many needles at this point and i've never done this before i just kind of thought about it and i was like I feel like it would be easier than me using the long yarn needles. And so, but the one thing I'm scared about is well, if you look at this, do you see this like space? This is where we're decreasing. So I'm not, I don't know, I guess I will have to maybe stitch it up, but I hope maybe as I go up, it'll get tighter, but I don't think it will. So I'll probably have to like go back, which would be kind of like a pain in the butt. I guess let's keep going and then see how the hat turns out, but it's getting there. It looks cute. I really like it. We'll see. I'll probably make a bunch of these because practice makes it better. So let's keep going guys and I'll update you when I am done. Oh my gosh, my hands are in so much pain. And I don't know if it's because I'm using like these needles, but I've never had this pain for, from crocheting, so ouch. So now we're gonna cut the yarn and we're just gonna use our yarn needle to go through the hat. It looks so cute. We still have these like big marks, but... <laughs> I finished the hat it looks pretty freaking good and I have the scarf with me in the back I just took some photo shoots photo shoots photos I just took some photos and I'll post them tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time oh, oh. <laughs>
even think I could, I was supposed to do that. Oh. oh, I guess it's not as easy. Yeah, this yarn really does kind of suck. Plow, plow through it, plow through it. I just need like hot sauce. Whoa. There's avocado in this.